nature's healing power is the first and foremost source of healing for every living being on this earth every ancient civilization discovered the mysteries of the nature and developed its own healing science to flourish and survive as the fittest nature does seem to have all the answers but leave it to us to discover them 80% of the world's population today depends on herbal supplements and natural products for basic primary needs and even the world health organization substantiates this fact in due course of its rich tradition india has inherited many forms of healing which have stood the test of time yog the ancient technology of well being an ultimate liberation has spread over the world through natural progression yog hamari puratan paramparik amulya den hai ye hamari jeevan shaili mein parivartan lakar tatha hum mein jagrukta utpann karke jal vayu parivartan se ladne mein sahayak ho sakta hai yog is a subtle and scientific process that unleashed the immense healing capacity of traditional sciences like ayurveda with the potential to bridge individual health and self awareness india's great discourse ayurveda is now emerging as an emancipatory healthcare choice advancements in science and technology has now enabled the researchers to decipher and decode the concepts of ayurveda a recent research has found an interesting correlation between ayurveda's convention of tridosha and modern genomics we thought that the principles of ayurveda which allows us to stratify individuals could be integrated with the state of our genomic methods to identify predictive markers which would be useful for early interventions what is unique about this concept of prakriti in ayurveda is that it not only combines wellness with illness but also the responsiveness of an individual to his environment including diet and drugs predictive preventive participatory and personalized in true sense modern ayurveda is paving a new way to achieve healthy and contented life under the aegis of ayush today india stands as the largest exporter of ayurvedic medicines to the world in this era the existing drugs are rapidly becoming ineffective against drug resistant strains Ayurveda medicines are emerging as effective and authentic solution. We are taking the legacy of Ayurveda ahead scientifically. Our motto is to efficiently combine the ancient Ayurvedic knowledge along with the modern scientific parameters and we are providing cutting edge innovative solutions for diseases which are chronic which are tough to treat to which modern science has no answers. Today Industry is taking these traditional healing systems to a new height by manufacturing scientifically proven and clinically tested drugs. To validate and analyze the standard of these drugs, an independent body to test these medicines is also put in place. The Ministry of Ayush has introduced the GMP norms and all these testing parameters are mentioned there in the ayurvedic formularies which have been brought out homeopathy the second largest healing system of the world has deep understanding and in-depth knowledge acquired through centuries the german system has flourished in india as an inherent healing science 
recent advancements in nanoparticle research in homeopathy have revealed its nanopharmacological attributes. Nobel laureate's work, which was done by Luke Montagnero, he also talks about homeopathy on the founding principles of nanotechnology. With the patronage of Ayush, today Indian manufacturers are making major contributions in expanding the reach of homeopathy. Homeopathic medicines are exported as mother tinctures, dilutions, external applications and patents. Quality is a constant effort. Cost is forgotten, but the quality is remembered forever. Because of quality, we are able to maintain our standards and compete with international brands. India has also embraced and developed the Greek system of medicine, Yunani, with constant clinical tests and researches. Before we develop any drug, uh, we do a lot of R&D in terms of the ingredients, in terms of the clinical trials, be it on the new products or the existing products. There is a continuous R&D happening to make the products better and more efficacious. The Yunani products have also been gaining a lot of traction between the younger generation consumers and then millennials because now they see a lot of merit in moving towards these herbal products. By uniformly evolving and scientifically upgrading, these forms of traditional medicines in India have set new benchmarks to understand their connotations. Today, each of the healing systems has its own pharmacopoeia. The Pharmacopoeia Laboratory for Indian Medicine and the Homeopathic Pharmacopoeia Laboratory sets rigorous standards for testing, manufacture and export of Indian medicines. As per the Drug Act, all IUS related products should have GMP standards. So this is mandatory to get licensing. But Ministry of IUS has also introduced different level of benchmarks. IUS premium mark for being eligible to match the world standards of manufacturing anything related to human health. India, with a recorded number of 8,000 medicinal plants, is the second largest exporter of Ayush and herbal products in the world. Demand and supply study has also in indicated that export of medicinal plant has increased from 56,000 metric ton to 1.3 lakh metric tons in terms of volume. And in terms of value, the growth is approximately 22%. Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani and homeopathy drugs are regulated through the provisions of the Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940. The provisions and the amendment of the provisions are made by the central government and the enforcement of the legal provisions for these drugs that is in the hands of the state governments. Currently exporting to almost 100 countries, Ayush sector has an estimated annual turnover of around 404 million USD and more than 8,000 licensed manufacturing units in the country, attracting large investments and generating significant employment opportunities. In the last financial year, the exports of Ayush as well as herbal extracts are to the tune of 404 million USD. These products are going to more than 100 countries. And the major export destinations are Germany, France, Italy, UK, Spain, Holland and North America besides neighbouring countries like Nepal and Sri Lanka. Psyllium, which is cultivated on a large scale in Gujarat and Senna, which is cultivated on a large scale in Rajasthan but also in Tamil Nadu. Now these two products are sold in every pharmacy in the United States and Canada and probably every pharmacy in the world really. By 2022, the size of Ayush sector should be three times because uh, it is having great potential, great demand and uh, there are quality benchmarks that we want to match and uh, I, I am sure we will do it with the support of our industry, with the support of our, our community and government is also very proactive about that. Let knowledge grow from more to more. Let healing begin at nature's goal. With persistent growth, we are sure that these healing systems will diverge 
more secrets of nature and serve wellness with more accuracy.